Okay, this is our last video on electrostatics, and we're going to talk about Newton's laws and electrical force. So we're going to tie everything together that we've done previously to what we're doing right now. So let's talk about what or how we can do this. Okay, we talked about levitating those paper um, bits. Let's talk about levitating a balloon. So we have a balloon that's negatively charged. All right, so we've rubbed it with fur and made it negative. Then we get a Another, uh, we get a golf, a golf tube, a plastic tube, and we rub this one to make it negative. Now negative charges will repel, so this will want to go up, while the charge on this will want to go down. Now we're holding this with our hand, so that's why this isn't going to move. This, the, the, this isn't going to move because we're holding it with our hand. But what's going to happen is this electrical force can be balanced by gravity. So we can look at it in a couple different situations. Let's look at it here in A. If the tube is held too far away from the charge balloon, there's less repulsion, so there's more gravity, which means it will fall down. So the balloon will start to drop. As the balloon drops and gets closer to the tube, what's going to happen is this force of repulsion between the tube and the um, balloon will become greater, which then will make this force greater, which will start to slow down, okay, or the acceleration will be upward. So in this one, in A, acceleration is down, and B, acceleration is up. Now when we have the tube off to the corner, like we see in C, we, see, we get an angle, and um, we can talk about, like we talked about before, using angles and trig to find our X and Y components. But this will be at a different working gravity. So sideways acceleration, negative or upward acceleration, or positive or downward acceleration. Okay, And that's all based on how the forces balance out. So let's look at an example of this and how we can solve it. So we have a 0.9 gram balloon. And it has a charge of negative 75 na nanocoulombs, and it's 12, 12 meters above, um, or 12 centimeters above a plastic golf tube that's charged negative 83 nanocoulombs. And we want to find the balloon's acceleration. Okay, so what it comes down to is um, we want to uh, look at these balloons, or the balloon. So the balloon's negative, and has a 0. I'm sorry, has a 75, negative 75 nanocoulomb charge. And then we have our negative tube. And it has a charge of negative 83 nanocoulombs. Um, the distance is 12 centimeters. Okay. And we want to know what the balloon's acceleration is if the mass of the balloon is 0.9 grams. So we got to look at our balloon. Our balloon have, will have two forces acting on it. It'll have the force of gravity going down, and it'll have the force of electricity going up. And we got to see um, what the acceleration is going to be. All right. So Newton's second law, our net force is equal to mass times acceleration. We got our mass as being 0.9 grams. Okay. We want to convert that to kilograms, so we'll get there. And x times acceleration will give us the net force. We're solving for acceleration, so we want to find our net force. So on our balloon, the force of electrical is going upward. That one we know. That's going to be k, 9 times 10 to the 9th. And we're going to multiply that by our two charges. Now remember, these are nanocoulombs. So um, the charge of the balloon is negative 75 times 10 to the 9th coulombs. And our um, our our, uh, our tube is negative 83 times 10 to the ninth coulombs, and then our distance squared. Our distance has to be in meters, so 12 centimeters in meters is point is point one two squared. Force of gravity in this instance is going to be mass times g. Our mass is 0.9 kilogram or 0.9 grams. We want it in kilograms. So it's 0 0.1239 kilograms. And, and then we multiply that by, by acceleration due to gravity. We're assuming we're on Earth. We're going to make it nice and easy and use 10. And that's going to be 0 0.009 newtons. It's going to be the force of gravity. And now we just have to figure out the electrical force. And so to figure the electrical force, we just do all this math. And again, I'm not going to bore you with the holy cow. I'm not going to bore you with the um, with how it works, but we're just going to say that that's going to equal 
3.89 times 10 to the negative 30 newtons. Now this is going upward and this is going downward. Now we take our two, uh, our two forces and we add them together, okay? And again, you can do this on your calculator, but here's what we find. We find our net force, okay? It's going to be, this one's up, so we'll make this one positive. Down is negative, and we add these two numbers together. We get a net force of negative 4.93 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons. So our force is going downward, so our net force on our balloon is going downward. We substitute that back into here, and I'm going to bring all that down to here, and I'm going to say negative 4.93 times 10 to the negative 3 is going to equal my mass, 0 0.0009, that's in kilograms, times A. And A mathematically will turn out to be negative 5.5 meters per second squared. And that's how the acceleration of the balloon can be solved. All right, let's look at another example. We got a positively charged object um, with a charge of positive 85 nanocoulombs, and it's balancing the force of gravity on a 1.8 gram balloon that has a charge of negative 63 nanocoulombs. And we want to find the distance on this ball. Okay, so. Our first step then is to uh, draw a nice little picture. All right, so we have our balloon, and we know um, that you got the force of gravity on it, which is equal to our mass, 1.8 grams, which is 0 0.0018 kilograms, times g, and g g would be. Um, and we'll, again, we'll go with 10. We'll just go approximate to make the math easier. And our force of gravity is 0 0.018 newtons. All right, so that's force of gravity. The force of electric is our constant times our charges. Okay, so our constant is 9.0 times 10 to the 9th times our charges. All right, so this is positive 85 nanocoulombs, so it's 85 times 10 to the 9th coulombs. And our negative charge of the uh, is of the balloon is negative 63 nanocoulombs. So negative 63 times 10 to the ninth coulombs. And we're going to divide that by to find um, d squared, which we don't know. So we'll, and we got to think about the force now. So here's where we're at. So how are we going to figure this out? Well, we know gravity is 0 0.018 newtons. And we know that this balloon is going to be balanced, which means we want this force to be equal to this force. So if this force is 0 0.018 newtons going down, we want this force here to be the same. So we're going to substitute this number into here, and our force of electrical is going to be right here. And now it turns into solving for d squared again. The math you're all capable of doing, you can check my answer. Um, but what we're going to see is, and we do all this, is we're going to get 0 0.0. 5.2 meters in, which is approximately 5.2 centimeters. So either answer is fine, but that's how we got that. Because of the balancing, we knew these two forces would be the same. Okay, I'll give you one more example. Um, balloon A and balloon B are charged in a like manner by rubbing with animal fur. They each require an excess of 25 trillion electrons. If the mass of, of the balloon's is one gram, then how far below balloon B must balloon A be held in order to levitate balloon B? So we got balloon B here, balloon A here. They both have the same negative charge, okay? And we want to find what's this distance, okay? Do we have to have to make sure all forces are balanced? And very similar idea. Um, we know that if we can find the charge, we can be there. So a number of our excess electrons, um, we got 25 trillion. And we multiply that by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, right? Because each electron is a negative, that many has that charge. We find a charge to be 4.0 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. So that's the charge here. 
This one's the same, 4.0 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. So we know the charges on both of these, and they're both negative charge, so we can both make those negative. Now the force of gravity on the balloons, okay, we know the force of gravity is mass. Mass is 1 gram. So we take our mass and convert it to kilograms, 0 0.001 kilograms. We'll multiply that by 10, and we'll, we'll get our force of gravity to be 0 0.01 newtons. So we know the force of gravity. Now we want it to levitate, so we know B is 0 0.01 newtons going down. That means it has to be 0 0.01 newtons going up. So now we just take this and go, okay, we want, we want to take force times K times Q1 times Q2 over D squared. Our force is 0 0.01 newtons. K is our constant, 9 times 10 to the 9th. Our charges, we figured it's 4.0, negative 4.0 times 10 to the negative 6. We'll square it since these both are the same. And then we'll solve for d squared. And again, the algebra I'll let you do. But d will equal, hopefully, 3.83 meters.